says that's all of it. Let's go. <laughs> the ultimate moving question. No, that was mine. All you need is like a stick in that, and then <laughs> this is how I'm moving. So wet. Came all the way to New York from Seattle for more rain. First time during a driving session. Confident? Yeah. It's raining. It's not snowing though. So let's see what happens. First stop, rest stop, getting gas, getting snacks. We also don't have any water, so we should probably fix that. Remember the last time I've been to Delaware. So if you're following on Instagram, you probably know exactly why this road trip is happening. My best friend John got a job in Seattle. He lived in New York prior, and he was like, I need to drive my car from New York to Seattle. Do you want to come? And I had done road trips in the past. I went from like the Midwest to the East Coast and then up to Canada for a bit, but I've never actually done like a proper cross country road trip. So this is gonna be my first time going through a bunch of different states. And one of the coolest things is I brought on Capital One as a partner to help sponsor the trip. And they have this whole campaign going on right now called the Purpose Project. It's all about purposeful travel. And it's something that I've been all about for years. The coolest part I think for me is the fact that most of you that have been following the channel for the longest time know that I started travel vlogging. It was like my first foray into video making. And this is gonna be the first time in a long time where I just shoot a bunch of footage and the story comes out later in the edit. It's gonna be awesome. Because I have a feeling there's gonna be some unexpected things along the way. I'm uh, I'm supposed to be driving and I, I lost John. I'm so confused. I, I was waiting for you. <laughs> now we do a one, two switcheroo. My turn to drive. Oh my goodness, we made it to DC. This East Coast driving is so funny. It's like the beginning levels of a video game. We've already done five, five state, four states and District of Columbia so far, and it's only uh, noon. We really do see a lot of this being a co-working space yeah. for um, customers. They come in, whether it's small business owners or people that can just work remotely. Sometimes they'll choose to do that in here. You just have a different atmosphere, different vibe, different people that you can meet, socialize with. Mm. People conduct interviews in here. We've seen a lot of that. The street teaming is when we go out and we kind of give them some coffee or like, you know, some pastries that we have from our local businesses. And then we'll just share what we're doing for the month or what we're doing in general with the space. Sure. Super short and sweet visit in DC. We uh, got Chinatown here in the background. Shout out to Capital One, giving us a snack. Got myself an Americano. Now we're back on the road. It just sucks we have to leave because the weather's so nice. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful day. Yeah. Quick stop for gas. Where are we? West Virginia? No, Maryland? I think we're in Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> we're not sure where we are. The good news is though, it's sunny. Yeah, we're in Maryland. Okay, we're in Maryland. Confirmed. We're almost there. It's been a really long day. We're finally getting to eat. 15 hours, 850 miles. We have arrived. In all reality though, this is like the unsexy part of the trip. We're staying in Louisville for just one night. We're kind of breaking up the trip. We have like the exciting New York, and then this is like super long, grueling day, and then I'm super excited for tomorrow. That's day one. We'll see you tomorrow for day two. Up at 5.30, went to the gym real swift. Uh, swam, got a cup of coffee, said bye to the hotel. Bye hotel. What's our motto today? Make it to Joe's. Make it to Joe's. I, I was like, <laughs> make it to Joe's. Make it to Joe's. Something. I don't know. <laughs> it has Joe in the name. We're going to Kansas City. Rye can do it. The American way. Uh. Wait, how many more jokes? <laughs> Okay, see you soon. Okay, <laughs> see you soon. <laughs> Feeling really good. 
That sleep definitely helped. Refuel in Indiana. How many more hours? Five. Five hours to go. Just tried to uh, get the windshield cleaner out and it's frozen into the bucket. Cause I want to clean this. Oh, that one's yeah, frozen Yeah, it's bucket. frozen in the bucket. That's awesome. Ugh. Can you smell it? Yeah. I can smell it. Can, can you smell it? <laughs> can you smell what the what, Joe is cooking? What the Joe <laughs> Hopefully I won't get beaten for coming up in the Yeah, no, we, we did the hard work for you. <laughs> How's it going? Good, just this weather. What do we need to order? Um, so the Z-Man is kind of like their, their kind of famous sandwich. Yeah. Do you want to do your plate and I'll do the Z-Man? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's I was going to do a rib and brisket plate. It's funny because the Z-Man like kind of like breaks all the rules. Like you're not supposed to put cheese on barbecue and mm. stuff like that, but people love it, man. <laughs> yeah, walking around would be nice. Cause I feel like all this stuff we've been doing has been like, go to the car, <laughs> drive, get out, eat, get back in the car. Oh, that is a dinosaur. Yeah. Wow. Single file line now. Let's wait till we get to California. part. We're waiting in the dish area of the American restaurant, waiting for this James Beard dinner to be finished. They're running behind. Good, how are you? So Great good. to see you. Oh my goodness. How's it Welcome going? Welcome to Missouri. Real talk though, it was great to see all those guys. They are going to be like <laughs> so late. <laughs> they're going to be they're going to be so late cuz it's a dinner, a 110 person dinner. And then they're trying to go out after this. We made the executive decision to get a hotel up early at 5 a.m. tomorrow. I'll see you then. I know, it's even earlier than yesterday, but today's the biggest day, so we gotta make moves. It's gotta be a robust day today. It's wet, but it's not freezing, which is great, because that's what everybody was saying yesterday, is that it was gonna rain, and then it was all gonna freeze. It's been real, Kansas City, thank you, but we're trying to make it to Denver around lunchtime. Where it is now, questionable. Kansas is funny because it's like the boss level. Can manage to get past here, we're gonna be okay. We're technically in Colorado. We're supposed to be, what did it say? Four to six inches of snow. In order to not hit that, we're gonna try to get ahead of it. We should be there at 8 p.m. Snow is supposed to start at five. And to have like a breather can sometimes, especially like if you're taking a break from, are those deer? Yeah. Those uh, are deer. Antelope. An antelope. We just got done filming the podcast. It was great. Stay tuned for that. It's, I don't know if it's going to be out before or after this vlog airs, but you're going to see it, and we talked all about travel. Quickie update on where we are. We have uh, approximately four hours until we hit Salt Lake City. Do you want to eat those leftovers? Oh, yeah. All right. Seriously, 84 miles away from Salt Lake City, and it's like white out snowing. Five miles that way? Oh dear. So we're trying to figure out if we can crash somewhere else just for the night and then carry on in the morning because it's telling us right now that there's like over an hour's worth of traffic to try to get into Salt Lake City. I don't know what we're gonna do. Uh, yeah, that's all I need. It's so snowy. We tried. We really tried. That's not the right time. It is 7.30, which means we have plenty of time to like go to the gym or go swimming. 
so worth it. Actually probably have a decent dinner, maybe, if they have that here. We live in Utah now. <laughs> it's Why sideways we're snowing. We're not even in Utah anymore. No, or, we're in Wyoming. John's taking the first shift. We just gotta get past Salt Lake City. Now, that job normally sucks without doing anything else. But without any gloves, I'm trying to vlog at the same time. Salt Lake City, let's try this again. off the uh, fluid dispensers. That made that drive all that much harder. But uh, we made it through the crazy whiteout snow. Shout out to John, great driving. But yeah, now we're surrounded by mountains. We're gonna stock up the car real quick. I'm gonna grab a coffee and then we're gonna try to make it through Nevada. I think the most frustrating thing, especially in this part of the US, is that I wanna stop. Like I wanna stop and set the tripod up and get shots. <laughs> it's all just like shaky out of the dirty windshield footage, but at this rate, we're gonna like cruise in right before our reservation starts. So like, we can't stop. We literally cannot stop. We are so close. We're in California finally. This is hands down the most beautiful part of the drive, for sure. The Sierras, and it looks like we're actually gonna make a reservation. Just to put time in perspective, we, we were stalled by like an hour last night, right? 70 miles, and we our reservation is in an hour and a half. That's how little time we had to spare, but we made it. I know that it seems like that was like the climax moment of the trip, but we still have a couple of more things to do today in the Bay Area, and then we have two more states to go. John's bringing the car around, I gotta go get my stuff. I forgot my raincoat. Where are you, chanterelles? things have been burned like look at that tree but then yet everything's like so lush and wet right now <laughs> oh. wow so intense this is called bay laurel this is called miner's lettuce so good Really? Watch. Oh wait, that's supposed to stick to you. Oh wow. That was so fun. I haven't been foraging in ages, even though I was mostly filming and they did all the, the picking. Bye, Ruby. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Taco truck. Oh, this might be one of the better-ish ones. Good advice for pickpocketing me. I always keep cash in my bags, in secret pockets though, so yeah, another travel tip. Always try to have cash. I went with a pork quesadilla. This is a steak taco. How is it? What'd you get? Chicken? Grilled chicken? Who would have thunk it? Middle of a parking lot in Sonoma. One of the best quesadillas I've had in a long time.
Just made it to San Francisco. We're gonna check into our hotel and then we're going to go to dinner. We're late! This is leaving the hotel shot number five. Leaving the hotel shot number five. I'm so tired, I don't know what to say. Last long haul drive today. We're gonna try to make it to Portland. The only thing that I'm nervous about is there's like a storm system working its way through the Pacific Northwest, as it has been for the past couple days. We're trying not to freak out, but we just <laughs> stopped in a town. It's covered in snow and there's no power. We have 64 miles left in our gas tank. We did our best to stop for gas, but no one can get gas because everything is closed. We turn back, we're going back to, uh, it's like a small lake in the middle of the road. <laughs> Jesus. We're gonna go south, because it doesn't look like it's getting any better. I know I said it yesterday, but I promise this is the last leaving the hotel shot. Now it's 3 a.m., we're back on the road, and we're just gonna finish this out. Hopefully it's not snowing up where the highway was closed. I don't think it should be. We checked the maps and it looks like it's gonna be okay. On to Portland. Kansas was the boss level. Redding, California is like that level that <laughs> you like, you try to beat and you can't beat it and you just try so hard and you can't do it so you come back the next day and try again. We're doing it! Definitely one of the coolest parts about live Instagram storying your travels is that people just recommend you stuff. So we're gonna get coffee. Back on the road now. I always forget they do that in Oregon. Yeah. They fill they fill up your car in Oregon when you need gas. And it's always really awkward because I'm like, who are you? But also thank you for your help. <laughs> Make the whole trip without an accident. Shut up. <laughs> and John hit someone parallel parking. That would be a story. Is that the car in park? And we're done. High five. And we did it. The house key. Okay, so this is a. Um... down one of the most fun and intense trips I've ever taken. My partner Capital One and I would love to hear about some of your travel stories. Please leave them down low in the comments or anywhere on social with the hashtag Meaningful Moments, and I'll absolutely repost or share how you travel with purpose. Thanks so much for your attention. My name is Justin Kana, and I hope you have a good one.